My name is Laura Rosenzweig. I run a small weaving company called Laura's Loom, which has been based here at Farfield Mill for most of the last 16 years. I'm Ali Sharman, I'm a hand weaver. I've been weaving for about five years. I learned to weave with Laura, who I now share a workshop with. I've been weaving at home. I just ran out of space because I had so much equipment. So about a year ago, I decided to come here and it's been a, a great week for me. When I first came to Farfield, I was the first hand weaver to arrive here and uh, through teaching people to weave and telling people about weaving at the mill, we've now created a little community of weavers with four or five weaving studios and lots of weaving volunteers coming on a regular basis to demonstrate weaving and spinning and various other wool craft skills. When I came here, I was a hobby weaver and I didn't really have a plan. And just about ready to launch a business now and it's uh, being at Farfield Mill that's made a real difference. The way I think, the way I approach my work and actually the way I see myself. And now I don't see myself as a hobby weaver, I see as somebody who's about to try and uh, earn money from what I'm doing. It's a great place to work, Sedba's a wonderful place to live and just looking out of the windows of the mill is another inspiration for all the work that I do here. I am from Athens, Greece, and I'm a silversmith. I've been here in the mill for four years, and uh, as you see, it's a, a fantastic environment, and uh, feeling very good being here and close to my family here in Setpa. You all have to come and see this place. It's a very beautiful place. It's uh, very balanced with the environment. I feel very comfortable here, and. Uh, I really appreciate that I was given the opportunity to, to have this studio here. The favorite thing about this location is very many things that is good about this place, you know. I used to, to, to be in Greece uh, in a very touristic place, in the Greek island, and my workroom for very many years, and I thought that was the perfect place to, to work. But since I came here, I changed my mind because this place has given me the balance I need for my work, you know, it's a, it works very well with the environment, with the history of the mill, you know. It feels, it feels, has some energy here, you know, but still a very nice place to work, really, very, really, really um, nice and easy. Uh, I'm more productive here. I have, I have the, the privilege to, to get to know very many good people around and we are doing very well together. Silver is my material because uh, loved the, the, the silver and I just continued working with it, you know. It just happened for me to be silver. Anna McKinnon and I organise the exhibitions here at Farfield Mill. We have four gallery spaces here um, and an exhibition in every one. We specialise in textiles, ceramics, pottery, weaving, a whole range of disciplines in art and design and we aim to have exhibitions in all the galleries that are different so that we have a range so we might have painting in one gallery, pottery in another, so that there's always something for people to see that is of interest for them, because obviously people have different, different tastes and different interests. fish and um, you know we do lots of um, different sort of painting here. I'm basically a watercolourist and um, Stuart you tend to mainly work with acrylics. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I like still life uh, things that have got a little bit of an industrial past. Um, 
things that have been used. So we are totally different. So I'm, I'm Ruth Clayton and I'm Stuart, Stuart Gray. Gray. And, I'm, and really we're, sort of, we're hoping to have an exhibition at some point on, and we'll probably call it Contrast. And my stuff is sort of like, I, I look at the energy of water, really. that's what I'm, I'm going through my water period at the moment, so you know, sort of the energy of water, so it could be a salmon um, leaping from the water, or this is an oil rig, which is probably a bit controversial, but I just like the image. Um, and mine are always sort of framed up in like white frames, whereas yours tend to yeah, be in very I'm, dark frames. So that's, that's a bit I'm of a contrast. the dark side. He's the dark side, yeah. <laughs> but we love working in the mill, it's such a great mm. space. Um, the, the people are great, and you know, it's just a nice environment to be. It's a real community, you know, yeah. you, you actually have um, a lot of inspiration from a lot of different sources. The best thing about being here is having the company of fellow artists. I'm also able to meet the public, sell my work here, um, and generally interact with the public. And it has been a really, really enjoyable experience. So I'm threading the bead here, which is quite an important job and requires a little bit of concentration. But um, once you get halfway through, you do find it becomes a practice of habit. And it's one of the benefits of being here at the mill is you have no distractions from things which might be going on at home. I think people, um, even if they just make a very small purchase, I feel that they, they are able to demonstrate to you that they appreciate what you're doing. Um, you know, you make very many small sales quite often just because people want to show you that they appreciate the skills that you are employing and um, managing to sort of keep these skills going. Carol coordinates the fourth floor which houses public demonstrations by our weaving friends and the South Lakeland lace makers and the Lunsdale rag rug makers. My name is John Barraclough. I'm a trustee and I help to oversee the production in our weaving department. Here at Farfield Mill, we're proud to be still producing cloth on one of its original Dobcross shuttle looms. Since the restoration of the mill, we've produced cloth on commission for customers, as well as making some for sale in our shop. In order to improve efficiency, flexibility and market opportunity, we installed a more modern Somit Rapier loom two years ago. This enables us to produce some cloth twice as fast as we can on the Dobcross and gives us better potential for employing new weavers as we look to the future. We're looking forward now to making further improvements in this popular and vital section of the mill with some of the additional funding that the Community Benefit Society will provide. stage is turning the mill into a community benefit society owned and run by the community so we can all share in it. Go to farfieldmill.org Let's share.